um, must reads that we're going to recommend to our audience today. Yeah. Yeah. So many favorite yeah. Well, I like the Patricia Briggs version of Awesome series. Yes, yes. yes. Well, I, I really love that series with, with Adam and Mercy. So good. Yeah. Such a, and also from a perspective of um, growing up and loving urban fantasy, but not seeing necessarily myself reflected on the page, it's really great to have a biracial heroine and that be examined, but not be the, the sole focus. It should just be a really interesting case for having diversity in your books and not making it tokenistic, just having an amazing character and letting that be the thing. I also love the fact that she knows that she's weaker than all of the werewolves that she yeah. has to do. And her way of talking <coughs> Adam, who is alpha and very rigid, is that she has a, an old PW bus in the back of her yard. And every time he annoys her, she takes a little bit more off of it so that it's a little more decrepit. <laughs> every single time she drives him nuts. And she's bright makes it when he really pisses her off. Yes. yes. Yeah. And she's clever. Like, you know, she might have the physical brute strength of like alpha werewolves, but she uses strategy and, and mind games, which I really appreciate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got two very different books that I really want to recommend. Um, the first is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> and the second is a book that just scared the Jesus. <laughs> it looks like it's so scary. Um, it's called The Shore Man by Michael Marshall. And uh, oh, have you read it? Yeah, have you read that? Yeah, yeah. there are two more out there. Yes, yeah. And it's just like, Bleh. I just kind of went, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Um, well, this little known writer named 
Dallas and Grandma. Uh, singing the Dog Star Blues, Neon and Killing the Rabbit. This writer never writes the same book twice. Uh, singing the Dog Star Blues and Neon are technically YA, but Neon and Neon and the Seagull are in a China-like universe in which students, male, lie to serve the embodiment of the god for the year, like the year of the tiger, the year of the rabbit. Um, but one student is not as easy as And saying the dog star blues is science fiction about an attempt to unite one member in each of the human race and an alien race to pilot through space, except that neither party is willing, and it's possible that the people who united them aren't really looking forward to this. And then Killing the Rabbit is science fiction about the battle for birth control. There's an American writer, I call him um, sort of a uh, mystery writer's brother to Stephen King. His name is John Connolly. And he, okay, some, some of you have heard of him. He has a detective whose wife and daughter were killed by a serial killer. And they return to him. And he tries to drink himself into the grave, and it doesn't really work. And he finds that he is called to hunt down other serial killers and the methods that he uses and the help that comes to him are not necessarily grounded in the human universe. They are very dark, scary books that lead somewhere to the realms of the divine and this is this is a tortured man who has in him the potential for great good, and if he is born to fall, can fall very, very far indeed. Um, they're fascinating. And then for fantasy, there's Daniel Abraham's uh, quintet that he just finished that begins with the Dragon's Path. It is set with a shrub who just wants to write books on obscure passages from history, who is brought somehow to the leadership of the realm, um, and he turns out to be the worst possible schlub for the job. <laughs> and one of the other heroes of the series is a young lady who's form of heroin, heroism is banking. I think she's probably one of the coolest female heroes in a long time. So those are some of them.